What up, y'all? Um, this is a video <coughs> for the new naturals, the people who are, who are newly natural. Um, hair done. This is for the people who are newly natural. I just got out the shower, y'all. I don't have any product in my hair. So, excuse the face. I haven't washed my face yet either. My hair is kind of a mess. But, um, yeah, this is for the... <laughs> um, I, um, this is for the newly naturals. People who are newly natural. And I just want to give you, like, some, a few tips okay some of the things that you would need a good conditioner a good leave-in conditioner a good deep conditioner a good shampoo if you're gonna use shampoo you can co-wash um, uh, good combs I really don't worry about combs but good combs um, and good styling products and good um, good health um good health knowledge like good knowledge for healthy hair that's what you need while you know you're on your natural journey um some of the conditioners like good conditioners that i've tried are um this is a new one that i tried i bought this like two days ago i've never heard anybody talk about this anybody but it is so so good it's icy moist it's, um, it's like an Australian company, Australian line or whatever. It's real good. You can find it anywhere. Walmart, um, Walgreens, Target, everywhere. Um, a good condition. This is another one that I have. It's Curls Rock by TG. Um, Catwalk, TG. Their Catwalk line. It's for curly hair. Um, it's real good, but it's really expensive. You can find it at some stores, like discount stores, like TJ Maxx. I got this from TJ Maxx for $15, $14.99. If you would get this from Walmart or somewhere else, it would bring you about $35, $40. Um, um, some people will tell you about Sun Silk Captivating Curls. I, me personally, I don't like it, so I use it for my co-washes. It's okay. I've only had it for a day. So I'm still trying to, you know, fill it out. But so far, I don't really just like it all that much. But it's good for co-washing, in my opinion. Not for like a, a conditioner she put on here to leave on. I don't like it for that. But co-washing, I do like it. Um, but for co-washing, you're going to want to have a a cheap conditioner. Because when you wash it, you're going to be using a lot of conditioner. And all this. So you want to find a good cheap conditioner. Suave and uh, VO5 are, are some that are recommended. But I don't recommend Suave because it doesn't moisturize as well as VO5. VO5 is the best. It moisturizes. It smells good. It's great. Hitting myself and stuff. <laughs> um. Um. Deep conditioner wise, um, hold on, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I guess not. Deep conditioner wise, I use uh, Queen Helen's cholesterol. I've tried other cholesterols like um, I don't know, I can't think of the name of them. They're like orange, orangey color, uh, the herbal, whatever, whatever. I don't know what it's called, but I didn't really like it. I like this the best. This kind, Queen Helen's, and also um, the. Um, Proclaim has a uh, cholesterol. It kind of comes in a small bottle with a red, a small container with a red top. And it's like Proclaim, and it's good too. Um, I like those for deep conditioning, and also um, good shampoos. I recommend this right here. It's raw shea butter shampoo right here it's really good it doesn't dry your hair it's like moisturizes your hair so well to be a shampoo and it's all natural has all good uh, ingredients and everything it's perfect like perfect so like if you need if you are looking for a shampoo and you have natural hair this is the shampoo that you need to get like real top like for real um leave-in conditioners i love this garnier fructis is good it's great like i mix mine with um 
uh, extra virgin, extra virgin olive oil, and it's great. Like you don't even need to put olive oil in it to pump it up, but I do. It's good by itself. But if you want to, you can add a little oil to it. Um, also, Infusion 23. If you don't want to use a cream leave-in conditioner, Infusion 23 is good as well. Um, um, oh, wait. For protein, often you want to like put like a reconstruct in your hair, maybe like once a month. Do like a light protein treatment, like a, like a reconstruct or whatever, to make sure you know your hair has a balance of protein and moisture. So that's good to know for to keep your hair up. Uh, clarifying wise, you want to clarify your hair at least maybe like once a month or once every two months, depending on what what you use in your hair, how much gel, whatnot, how much styling products that you use in your hair. If you use a lot of products, styling products and gel and stuff, you want to clarify your hair maybe probably like once a month. And I recommend. It. <laughs> My man, hold up. Um. I recommend this Avalon Organics um, clarifying shampoo. It's lemon. It's great. It's better than any out there. It has no sulfates. It has all good things and it's all natural. Um, I'm going fast because so I don't want to run out of time. I have, don't have much memory. Um, end clipping. You want to clip your ends. Like I went a while. I clipped my ends about two, two, three nights ago and my hair is doing so much better now. Um, you want to clip your ends, I'll say every four months, every four to five months, clip your ends. You must. And cover your hair at night. Do not sleep on your hair. A lot of people think that natural hair is tough, super tough, but that's not always true. So you want to wrap your hair up, like put a satin bonnet or sleep on a satin pillowcase. Um, mm, Oh, and always only use hair scissors such as these. Don't use scissors that you cut paper with. Always have a set pair of hair scissors just for your hair. And you want to change them out too because they can get dull and they can cause split ends as well. Uh, as far as styling products, I use I see Fantasia gel. I use I've used the pink the blue and the green. My favorite is the blue because it has moisturizing qualities and it's and it moisturizes your hair pretty well to be a gel. Um oh and this I picked this up probably like two nights ago. It's Palmer's coconut oil uh formula replenishing hair milk. It's real good. I use this for like cream moisturizer like if I do like a fro or like if I pull my hair back in a puff or something like that. I use this. Um, I think that's about it. 